so this video is going to be about running tanks on a budget now not everybody has got a brilliant job or a brilliant wage packet or a load of money to sit on so if you like me and you like to have a cheap tank and run it cheap as possible but still have the best outcome then this is the video you're going to enjoy I'm going to be going from filters, heaters, media, where to buy tanks, where to buy the filters, heaters and etc from it, lights, make your own lids, um, yeah so I'm just going to basically try and do my little hacks on how to run a tank on a budget. If you've got any other ideas by all means leave them in the comments section below, let me know what you think, if you've got anything to add it's always great. So when it all comes to running a tank on a budget, I always find eBay. So you've got your Hindum heaters and your Hindum air pumps. The air pumps are silent, the heaters are fantastic, and they've also usually come free, a little thermo sticker that you stick on your tank. Now a lot of people don't like them, I love them. Never done me wrong. I've had digital ones in the past. The fish will knock them, or they just don't work, or they're just in the way. They don't look attractive. You've got to look at them from a certain angle. It's just more hassle than it's worth. So, again, I'll stick by the stickers. When it comes to the filters, I personally like APS All Pond Solutions. My barb tank has got the APS 2000 on it. It's does 2000 litres per hour, it's got a UV steriliser light in it and it has not done me wrong since I've had it, my tank is as crystal clear as can be I'll put footage of the barb tank in so you can see how it clear it actually is it's never done me wrong and I don't have to clean it out all the time either in every other tank I've got the um, APS sp uh, sponge filters which you might see here, no, it's covered by the plant. But I'll show you a photo or some footage of the filters I've got in my tanks. And basically all it is is a sponge. So once a month I just take them out, tank water in a bucket, you clean the sponge out and you rinse it all out and then you can put it back in, job done, simple as. It's basically like covered sponge filter but without the uh, bubbles you can have a fast flow coming out of it where you just don't have the spray bar on I aim it up so that it gets surface movement not all the fish like the surface movement though I put the spray bar on so it does a lighter surface movement it's always good because it stops any junk building up on top or having a film lid on the top of the water when it comes to buying fish food it depends on how fussy you are. Me, I like the Heron's fish food from uh, eBay. It's cheap enough to buy and you get a massive bag and it lasts me ages. Even just a 200 gram bag, I think it's something like a fiver. You go anywhere else, you're paying two or three times the price for the same amount of fish food. All the fish love it. It goes down exactly the same way. Anytime I'm buying tanks, the first place I'll look is Facebook Marketplace and Spock. Now you can always get a bargain. I never buy a tank brand new. I bought one. It was a 21.6 litre from Just For Pets. It was my first tank and it was for the kids. It was one of these little hex ones and it was just pants. It Oh, I can't even describe it. It just made your eyes go funny. You couldn't fit many fish in there. It was like 40, 50 quid. Now, you look on Spock and, uh, fa and Facebook Marketplace and you will see loads of tanks on there. Always look around. Don't just buy the first one you see. Anybody that knows me will know I have got a habit of buying or getting cheap or free tanks off there. I'll clean them up, spruce them up, sell them on and I'll make a fortune off it. I've had free tanks which I've sold for 200 quid. I've had cheap tanks for like 20 quid which I've made 100 quid off. It just depends on how long you can hold them, if you can hold them, can you find the person that will buy it, are you selling it at the right price. You will always find tanks that have got a heater, a filter, air pump, light the lid everything included so you can get decent bargains out there so always check first 
don't just buy the first one you see and when you do go for it I have made the mistake a couple of times you've seen on my cichlid tank that you can get tanks for cheap I think it was 20-30 quid I got my cichlid tank for and you can see on the top it's just covered in scratches can't win them all I don't just get my tanks from eBay, Spark or um, Facebook Marketplace I'll also get ornaments and plants and things like that for the tanks I have got so many bargains I've recently put posts up of like fish wanted I only have community fish but I've also had boxes and bags of ornaments and nets and breeding boxes breeding nets plants you name it all either given to me or I've bought them for cheap I've had tanks that have come with the ornaments and everything as well it's amazing what you can find on Spock and Facebook marketplace mostly eBay I usually just buy my filters heaters and pumps and things like that from but ornaments, plants and tanks I'll usually get from Facebook and Spock. So for things like the rocks that I've got in my sickly tank, as simple as B&M for a quid. All you do is you wash them out and put them in your tank. Or if you come to home bargains, you can get the same for 50p, well 49p. Finally got the sand, three bags, two ninety nine each from Smiths. Again, budget for the tanks, you can't go wrong. Already pre-rinsed, already wet, don't have to run it through taps, don't have to rinse it. So you can't really complain, again, for the video, which is this, tanks on a budget. This is going to be one that helps. When I first got this Tetra tank it didn't have a lid on it. So I got some insulation board and just sat that on top to block the light off. And then I managed to make my own lid by getting some uh, windowsill sh um, sheeting which I found on the side. I managed to cut it in half, get two lengths of it put them together and then put some self-adhesive waterproof wallpaper underneath and then I also managed to find some uh, self-adhesive waterproof wallpaper that would match my tank colour as well and then I just covered the top so it's all worked, it all fits, it slots on nicely and as I say it's all done for bugger all I think I spent probably about 5-10 quid on the wallpaper max Another budget tank, if you've got fry that are overtaking your tank or you've got an issue or a leak or something with your tank, you could always get a storage tub. Now you can get all 35, 50, 60, 80 plus litres on storage tubs um, and containers. They will suffice as a temporary tank for like a couple of months or so. Uh, one of my mates for example has a storage tub that he will use for the fry so if they're uh, overcrowding the tank or you're worried about your fish getting eaten and you've got no space for um, say a breeding net or a breeding box get the storage tub put it on the side put a filter in it put a heater in it put some air in it now a sponge filter is usually the better one because it provides the filtration and the air supply so again Things like that is just a nice, easy, simple, cheap way to do it. It's basically like a little mini pond. You ain't going to get the same view you're going to get on a tank. But again, if you haven't got the room or the money or the space or whatever to get a new tank, that is always another great budget option. Once again, thanks for watching Chris the Fish 03. I hope you've enjoyed it. Spread the word. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you think, what can I do better, what am I doing wrong. Constructive criticism is always helpful and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.